Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add email account to Samsung S25. If you wish to add an email account to your Samsung S25, go to settings first. Then in settings, you'll find accounts and backup at some point. Then go to manage accounts and you can find some of your logged in accounts like your Mm, Google account, maybe possibly your Samsung account. If you click on add account, then you can very easily add your Google account to have another Gmail account logged in. But the same goes for, uh, goes for Outlook. It's also very simple. You can just log into Microsoft Outlook. But mm, so let's go to the Google. Let's try logging in. Um, but in a moment, I'm going to show you how to add an email account from a different provider, like for example, AOL or something like that. Mm, there's lots of providers out there, of course. Mm. I'm just gonna enter the email, then click on next and enter the password. Now click on agree. And you can see it's added and in my Gmail app, it will be visible mm, and I'll receive email. Uh, messages, but if I go to add account and you'll find personal IMAP or pop free and um, These are just different protocols for emails. I personally would uh, Recommend you the IMAP one because the pop free isn't too good Honestly, just get the IMAP if your provider supports it, but it surely supports it You can simply search your pro like your domain because your email after the at sign has the domain like for example aol.com so let's search for aol uh, imap uh, settings right now if you go to for example aol now you'll see um, pop free and imap and I need the IMAP ones. You have the incoming and outgoing, uh, outgoing mail server and we'll need to enter that. So if you go to the um, add account here and go to personal IMAP, first enter your email address. And um, I'm just gonna enter like whatever. Let's see if it works uh, with some random Things you can click on next and sometimes it'll discover it automatically, but I'm gonna go through the manual setup uh, Just to show you how like something that will work for everyone I'm gonna select personal IMAP then enter a password like whatever probably won't work, but you know I Need to enter the server and you can see the server is actually like it is here you see it's imap.aol.com exactly like here so it's great now it's validating the server settings and if it asks me for the port okay it says that the username or password is incorrect but if it asks me for the port settings i should just enter the either the imap 9933 ssl or 9933 itself depending on how it asks me about it. And then when it asks me for outgoing mail server, I will I should enter the smtp.aol.com and it'll be great. And the same goes for like any email whatsoever on any other um, provider than Outlook or Gmail. And that's all for today. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.